Welcome back to my channel. Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back. Today is a very exciting video because today I have my Jeffree Star mystery boxes to open. These videos are always so much fun to film and you guys just eat them up. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We got my mirror from last year's mystery boxes, the Heartbreaker mirror we love. Y'all gave me so much feedback last year when I filmed my mystery box unboxing. I think at the time I'm filming this, that video has almost 38,000 views, if not more. So I'm hoping I do you guys all some justice and improve a little bit this year. Like I said, I have both Jeffree Star mystery boxes to unbox today. I am so excited. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the smaller of the two boxes. I always think the packaging of these boxes are just so stinking cute. Are you guys ready? I haven't looked inside yet, so we're gonna look in together. Oh, <laughs> it's just tissue paper. Let's go ahead and take out the tissue paper. Guys, I already see a box right here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at all these fun goodies. Let's go ahead and start pulling some items out. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics LED Star Selfie Light. I actually have one of these from last year. Where is it? This is the one I got from last year's box. It has different light settings. I actually keep this at the salon usually so I can take pictures of people's hair when it's late at night, but I brought it home thinking I was gonna try and film with it and that didn't work, but I think this might be the same thing. So let's go ahead and double check. I actually really like these. I think they're so cute. I get so many compliments on the one I have at the salon. And I love that I have a second one now so I don't have to take them back and forth. And this one's not charged yet, but I imagine it is the same light settings as the previous one I have. So this is definitely very useful. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these to the salon and leave the other one here for filming. The next item looks like it's another exclusive and it looks like it's the same heartbreaker design from last year's hand mirror. And this one says it's a mirror on the back. I'm wondering if it's like a compact mirror. Say less, this is a compact mirror and I love this. I only have one other little compact mirror. It is my Oppa one from the ColourPop Avatar Last Airbender collection. But this is so cute. I love to carry these in my purses. And again, it's nice to have another one so I don't have to constantly take them out and lose them. I have the memory of an actual goldfish. So I would never remember where I put them if I didn't have multiples. So very excited about this. And of course, I love the matching aesthetic. It makes my heart super happy. The next exclusive looks like it is a phone ring. So these, I believe you stick onto the back of your phone case and then it makes it easier to hold. It's funny because I was actually thinking about getting one. I love this. It is pink. Y'all know I love pink. It's a star. It has the Jeffrey logo. And then this is very heavy duty. So I feel like it doesn't flop. And I feel like that'd be really good to hold your phone with and it has the adhesive on this side. I don't know if I'm actually going to put it on my case or not. I don't know how easy it is to take them on and off. And I only have one phone case at the moment because I'm crazy. So I don't wanna ruin my case, but I will consider it. Let me know if you guys have phone rings on the back of your phones and if you like them or not. Okay, I just peeked at the next item. First off, I should mention that I am a crazy crystal girl. I think my vibe kind of gives that off anyway. But if you know me, or if you're maybe somebody that comes to get your hair done by me, you know that I keep crystals at my workstation. And one of the crystals I keep is rose quartz. I have a little rose quartz in the shape of a heart, and I always keep it either on my station or in my pocket because it helps promote self-love and just feelings, like good feelings. The next item is a rose quartz bracelet. And Mr. Jeffrey Lynn, I don't think would cheat us out of fake rose quartz. Not that rose quartz is a very expensive gem to get. I've never tried to like display jewelry, but here's the cute little rose quartz bracelet. It has the little Jeffrey logo. And then of course all the cute little rose quartz beads. I actually really like this. It's a little bit impractical for me to wear at the salon just because I'm constantly doing stuff with my hands and it is a little bit loose, but I could always keep it in my pocket or in my purse. It's always good to have crystals in my humble opinion. So 
very cute very exciting i'm very curious to see what the exclusives in the other box are gonna be because i feel like these are some fun exclusives i tried my best to avoid spoilers at all costs all i heard was that people were disappointed in this year's boxes i'm not really sure why but so far i think we're off to a great start and i've very much enjoyed all of the cute little exclusive items up next we have a empty magnetic palette this i'm very excited about i'm pretty sure i mentioned in last year's unboxing that i personally love getting the single shadows in these boxes but I wish they would bring out another empty palette. This is my Magnetic Z palette from I think the last couple mystery boxes. I know I got the palette in one of them and then all the shadows came in mystery boxes as well. So this is the current one I have curated and then of course I have all my extra singles in a separate Z palette but I am very excited to curate a second little nine pan Z palette. That's always so much fun to me is just like creating my own color stories especially with shadows that have formulas that I really like. I always know the Jeffree formula is going to be superb. So it'll be nice to curate my own little palette. The next item we have is a Supreme Gloss and this is in the shade Fatality, which I don't know if that's an existing shade. I do have a few of the Supreme Glosses. I do quite like that formula. Okay, this is beautiful. This is very pretty. I think we're gonna swatch it. I love pink. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. It's kind of like a corally pink or like a peachy pink. I don't have a gloss like that color. The closest gloss I have in this color is also from Jeffree and this is in a shade I cannot say on the internet, but I am very excited about trying this new shade. I think it'll be very pretty. I'm gonna have to do like a get ready with me trying all these new products. Speaking of that shade I can't say on the internet, I just got a duplicate of that shade. So this is the gloss that came next in the box. I, like I said, cannot say the shade name on the internet without getting flagged. This is actually my gloss. I left this one in the box. So if you are interested in picking up anything, I always leave the duplicate items on my Poshmark for a very discounted price. And of course, I always take offers so if you are interested in this color gloss in particular it will be up on my Poshmark later today but I'll go ahead and swatch mine for you like I said this is a very pretty color and I personally really like the supreme gloss formula I feel like it gives you that sheen on your lips without having kind of too much stickiness I'm actually wearing a supreme gloss today this is a very pretty color, honestly. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna go through this because I might keep it. I'll, I'll probably list it and if I go through it, I'll buy a new one. We have six individual single shadows. This is exciting to me, guys. I feel like I'm always getting my favorite shades in these. I know a lot of people really don't like the singles. I like the singles, especially because I tend to get ones that are in shades I really like. And if I'm traveling, it's easier to take singles than it is to take a giant bulky palette. So the first shade we have is Power, which is this really deep navy blue. I can't remember which palette this is from. I almost want to say it's like from Weirdo maybe. I actually can't remember, but this is just a really dark navy blue. I'm not going to open them yet out of the plastic packaging because I do want to go through and double check to see which singles I have. So like I said, I can pass along the duplicates to anybody that might want them. This next one is called Open Range and it is just this really pretty shimmery chocolate brown color. This one I'm fairly certain is from from the Star Ranch palette. Very pretty shade, very easy everyday shade. Y'all know I'm gonna have to keep this one because it's a matte white and I go through matte white like it's literally water, but this is the shade Glamour Shot from the Weirdo palette. It is literally just a true matte white. I love white shadows. I use them to clean up any smudges on my eye makeup as well as setting my eye primer before I go into any eyeshadow. The next shade we have is The Morgue, which is a very deep kind of slate gray from Cremated. It's a very cool tone neutral gray. I feel like this will go great with neutral shades if you wanted to do maybe like a taupe in the crease and then this or it would go really good with monochromatic black and white looks. We got a duplicate of Open Range which is that really deep chocolatey shimmer. Very pretty color. And the last single shadow I got is Coma which is a very deep plum shade from Blood Sugar. Up next, we have a Velour Liquid Lipstick in one of my favorite shades of all time. This is the shade Leo. Leo is just this really pretty warm tone neutral brown shade. I do have this in a mini that I got in last year's mystery boxes and I am almost out. So I'm glad to have a refill. It's just a very pretty brown shade. 
Honestly, the Velour Liquid Lips are gorgeous. They are beautiful. And I do have the matching lip liner to this already, so I will have the complete set. We have a gloss. This is the gloss in the shade Spank Me. Nobody come for me. His name's not mine. These are so stupid hard. <gasps> Look at that color. Oh my gosh. Is this an existing shade. Just off the top of my vanity, this kind of reminds me of my Nomad Gloss in the shade in Rosé, but this is a stunning color. Okay, first off, I am trying to finish off one of these glosses I have, and they are, again, some of my favorite. <gasps> Guys, look at that. Oh, that's stunning. That's beautiful. Okay. Okay, this is definitely going to be in my everyday drawer for a while. We also have a Velvet Trap lip in the shade Jeffrey's Nudes, which is this very taupey kind of cool tone matte shade. That's pretty. I actually feel like that might look really good on me. Normally, I don't go for cool tone neutrals like that for lips, but I think that's a very beautiful shade. I'm very excited to try that one. And the last item in this box is of course the blood sugar palette. I'm gonna go grab mine real quick so I can leave this one completely unopened for Poshmark. Here is my personal copy of blood sugar and I really like this palette. I actually just mentioned this one in my Valentine's Day favorite palette picks video. This palette is stunning and like I said I will be listing the unopened opened one on Poshmark. My Poshmark is always listed in my description box all the way at the bottom. So if you scroll all the way down, down to the socials links, I think it says connect with me at the top. There is a link to my Poshmark at the very bottom of my description boxes. So if you want to grab this palette, it is a great palette. The formula is amazing. I love these tones for everyday wear. And honestly, I just think the color story is so perfect for this time of year. And now it is time for this monstrosity. Let's do this again. This one's a little bit harder to hold up. Are we ready? Okay. Oh, I'm very curious as to what some of this is. Okay, I need to just set this down and then we'll dive in. So I'm very curious about this because this is very intriguing. Fuzzy dyes. I've never owned a pair of fuzzy dyes. I think you put these in your car. I don't know. I might end up using them as a background decoration, honestly. I have no idea what the point of these are, but they are so fun. So that's exciting. I'm going to have to find somewhere in my filming room to hang these up, or maybe I'll give them to my dog to play with. I don't know. Oh my gosh. I just saw a spoiler of the mirror in the box, but I'm going to wait until the end to show you. The next item we have is the Jeffree Star Pink Heart Purse. This is the Candy Heart Purse. I actually do have this from last year's boxes as well. I feel like while I do always enjoy these boxes, I feel like this year the exclusives are duplicates from last year's exclusives. Let me know if you feel the same. This is what the heart purse looks like. It has the Jeffree Star logo on the front. It has the zips on the top. And then if you open it up, I don't want to take everything out because I do think I'm going to list this as well. But if you open it up, you have a pretty decent sized pocket with the handle. So you can kind of turn it into a crossbody purse if you'd like. 10 out of 10. I actually love using my purse all the time. So I'm going to see if anybody my family wants this first and if not then I'm gonna go ahead and list this as well. The next thing that caught my eye is the eye gloss powder from Jeffree Star. This is the shade Blunt of Diamonds. I have a couple shades of the eye gloss powder however I did not get them when they initially launched. I bought them with other orders and initially it is not my favorite formula. I don't know if I'm not using them right, but I feel like they are not very shimmery. They're very dry. This shade is beautiful. This is like a sparkly white. I am very excited to play around with this, especially the color. I feel like this is a color that I would typically reach into. If you keep up with my Pan Those Eyeshadows videos, you know that I've been doing neutral creases with white on the lid and a little bit of like white glitter. So I feel like this would be great in my everyday looks. I'm very excited to try this one. We have six more single shadows to go through. So up first we have Ocean Ice, which I believe is from Blue Blood. This is stunning. I actually don't know if this is from Blue Blood, but this is a very beautiful color. It is just a very deep shimmery royal blue. Absolutely glittery goodness. 
love. That one's going in my keep pile. The next single we have is the shade Yak Farm, which is this kind of warm taupey brown shade. This is just a really pretty crease color, very easy everyday color. We have yet a third copy of Open Range, which is again that deep chocolate shimmer. Self Made, which is a matte olive. This is from Blood Money and it has that dollar sign embossed into the shadow. Star Creek is this beautiful green shimmer shade. This I believe is from the Star Ranch palette. It's a very pretty one. I actually, if this is the shade I'm thinking it is, it's a very pretty shade if you do like a brown crease with this on the lid. The last single shadow is another duplicate of the Morgue, which is just that dark gray shade. The next item I'm pulling out of the box is the Jeffree Star Approved Mascara. I'm actually very excited about this one. I have tried his Fluff Proof Mascara. I know that is not the actual name, but in this household, we say Fluff. I'm very excited to try this one and compare it to his other mascara formula. And I think this is just in the, yep, yeah, it's just in the regular black shade. So I am very excited to try this one out very soon. I might even feature it in a video. We have a Velvet Trap Lip in the shade Designer Blood. This is a very pretty, literally blood red deep red shade and if you guys haven't tried the velvet trap lips they are so good i kid you not even after my lipstick feels like it's wiped off like there's still pigment on my lips it still looks very good i can wear these all day and they just look really nice and not drying i highly recommend and they're very reminiscent of the mac powder kiss lipsticks if you have ever tried those but this is a very beautiful color. I'm excited about this one. I've been loving a good red recently. We do have another magnetic nine pan palette, of course, to fill with all of our new singles. So I now have three of the nine pan single Jeffree Star empty palettes. So that's very exciting. I'm definitely gonna have so much fun curating color stories for those. We have another Velvet Trap in the shade Confessional. This is from the Pink Religion collection because it has that hot pink packaging. And this is a really pretty, it looks like true red or maybe like a blue toned red shade. It has kind of that blue undertone to it. Super pretty. I love blue tone reds on myself. I'm not a huge fan of the orangey or warmer tone reds. This I'm very excited about. This is the Jeffree Star Skin Soothing Strawberry Hand Cream. Look how cute. Perfect size for your purse. I'm going to do a little sniff. Oh, that smells good. It's kind of like a very light baby pink. Okay, that smells good. That smells really good. There used to be a Bath and Body Works lotion I had. It was like Midnight Pomegranate or something like that. And this smells like that. I love that. They've long since discontinued that Bath and Body Works smell, but I do really like it. Okay, we have a Skin Frost highlighter in the shade Princess Cut, which is a very popular shade. I don't actually have this one. This is what the outside of those components look like. It's just that iconic hot pink packaging and you open it up and you have this beautiful highlighter. This is very pinky toned. I really like these. This is gorgeous. There it is. Oh my gosh, I would love to use that as an eyeshadow or even on top of eyeshadow, like on a look like I'm wearing today, just to add a really bright pop right in the lid. We have another The Gloss in the shade Crystal Kiss. Stunning. Oh, look at that. It's kind of like an iridescent-y whitish pink. Like it's not a true white. It has a little bit of a pink sheen. I'm running out of swatch space. There it is right there. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to play with that. There is no way this is an existing gloss and I didn't know about it. This is beautiful. I'm gonna definitely have to go through and see what's existing and what is new. We do get a Jawbreaker palette, which I'm super happy about. I do already have Jawbreaker, so I'm gonna show you my copy. This is very beat up and very well loved because I did get it on launch day literally years ago. Like it is very trashed there's pan there is a lot of use on a lot of these shadows it is one of my favorite palettes and the palette that i use to create the look today however i don't know if i'm going to sell this one or not because i would like to have a backup i don't know if anybody's interested in jawbreaker i feel like a lot of people would have this one by now so if anyone's interested let me know and i'll list it for you but other than that i think i might keep it jawbreaker is one of my faves okay we have four more lip products before we get to the final exclusive item. So the next item we have is a lip pencil in the shade Celebrity Skin, which I don't believe I currently have. I love the components of the lip pencils. They just look so luxurious with the gold on top. 
I do have this as a lipstick, but I don't believe I have it as a lip liner. It is a very nice warm tone brown. It almost looks like a camel brown. Very pretty color. It will go with a ton of different lipsticks. I have a, another Supreme Gloss in the shade Cookie Dough Fetish, which sounds delicious, honestly. This is cute. This is like a mauve color. It's giving me androgyny vibes. This is super pretty. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. Look at that. It's kind of in between like a mauve and a nude. Super excited to try this one. These are just really great formula. And like I said, if you haven't tried Supreme Gloss formula, highly recommend. We have one last Supreme Gloss. This is again in the shade Fatality. Fatality is, I believe, that really pretty corally pink color. I did already open one of these, so this is a duplicate as well, but I will be listing this one brand new. I just opened it to show off the color on my Poshmark as well, but I think this will be a great color. I'm very excited to try the one I'm keeping. And the last lip product we have is a Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Deceased. This is a gorgeous kind of gray toned mauve. It could pass for a very cool toned nude, but it is just this really pretty shade. I have a MAC lip liner in the shade Stone that I think will go gorgeous with this shade. I'm very excited to try this one. I've been really into those grungy, vampy lips recently, so I do think this will be a very good lipstick to have in my collection. I'm very excited about that. And now the moment everyone's been waiting for, the mirror. I know a lot of people were disappointed about this, but I think it is quite cute, and it is heartbreaker as a green heart i love it i love having matching mirrors i actually broke one of my jeffree star mirrors last summer or i guess over the summer so i am very excited to have kind of a replacement mirror it was one of my christmas ones that i broke and i mean i could always buy a new one but i just can't justify it so I am excited to have a replacement mirror. I, again, like to carry these everywhere. I have them all over my filming room. I have one in my bathroom. I have one at work so I can show people the back of their hair. I just have them all over the place. So it's very cute and I like that it matches. I can use them as display pieces on the side of my makeup drawers. That's where I currently hang them. I think they'll just look so cute together. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, friends. This has been quite the adventure. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think of the boxes. I personally feel like there are some duplicates to last year. If you didn't get last year's boxes, they are definitely a great value. I happen to get all of the mystery boxes though. So to me, I do have quite a few repeat items. I do feel very content with the contents of the boxes. I maybe would have wished to see more of the liquid shadows or skincare items. I feel like that would have really spiced up these boxes, but I am very happy with the contents and I hope you guys are all satisfied as well. I hope you guys have a lovely day wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends! This is the aftermath to filming an unboxing video.